The Lut Desert in southeast Iran is one of the greatest deserts in the world, and at times it's even known to have the highest temperature in the world. Gulnar Farinadi will take you to the Lut Desert in just a moment, but first she wants to show you around town Zahedan. There was once a small county called Dozdab, which in Farsi means water thief. This was because the land absorbed every single drop of water that fell on it instantly. Seventy years on, and that small county has expanded and has become the center of the province of Sistan and Baluchistan. It is now known as Zahedan and is one of the youngest commercial and cultural provincial capitals in Iran. There are many roads that connect Zahedan to the nearby towns and cities, and routes that connect it to two of Iran's neighboring countries, Pakistan and Afghanistan. For those of you who prefer to have some information about the province and Zahedan before starting your sightseeing adventures, the Great Museum of Zahedan is probably a good place to start. The museum has two main sections. You can see articles, statues and figurines that illustrate the old lifestyle of people in the anthropological section. And in the archaeological section, you can glimpse some of the discoveries made in different excavations on the historical and ancient sites of the province. The most prominent of the findings belong to the famous burnt city. Zahedan has a subtropical hot and dry desert climate. It usually has very mild winters and extremely hot and dry summers, which means that the best time to travel to Zahedan is between the months of January and April. You'd never have guessed you'd be able to find such greenery in the middle of a dry and desert-like region. These are the grounds of the University of Sistan and Baluchistan that keep their cheery colors even during the months of winter. The University of Sistan and Baluchistan is the second largest university in Iran after Tehran University. But this is not just a beautiful campus. The university also has a comprehensive and successful education and research program that offers both national and international students a high quality education by providing learning experiences designed to develop intellectual abilities as well as social and cultural values. And now that we've paid a visit to some of the cultural and educational must-sees in Zahedan, it is time to dive into the vibrant colors and fragrant smells of its bazaar. A leisurely walk in the bazaar is like swimming in an ocean of beautiful shades and contrasts. An array of cloths, cashmere and silk, both locally made and imported, that form the local attire. Beautiful embroideries in rainbow colors with mirror work, beadwork and more that is so very delicately created by the skillful hands of women. Works of art that have, in a way, become the identity and distinguishing trademark of these creative women. All the people in all the countries of the world use different sets of herbs and spices to give their dishes their distinguishing taste and flavor. When placed next to each other like this, you'd be surprised at just how similar they may look and yet how different they might taste. You can see these vibrant colors in most of the old bazaars in Iran, but they will always be different depending on the region they come from. The pungent smells of these spices easily draw you in. Local spices such as turmeric, curry, achar and mixtures of different peppers. Since most of them are a combination of a few herbs and spices, their aromas are even more fascinating. Man is always influenced by nature, and what better influence than this vast ochre plain set against a perfect blue?
Can you imagine being in a place where temperatures reach 70 degrees centigrade in the summer? Well, such a place does exist, and you can find it right here in Iran. The Lut Desert, otherwise known as Dasht -e Lut, is one of the warmest places on the planet. An uninhabitable, exotic landscape full of dunes and valleys, full of mystery and magic. <laughs> The Lut Desert covers an area of over 50,000 square kilometers and shares its outer rim with three provinces, Kerman, Sistan and Baluchistan, and southern Khorasan. If you venture deeper into this salt desert, you're bound to experience harsh conditions. The interior is mostly devoid of plant life, so you must be mentally prepared and fully equipped. The inner tranquility that will descend upon you by spending time in the heart of the Lut Desert, surrounded by its deep and defining silence, is a unique experience. And every step you take, crossing these endless sandy plains, you begin to feel a deep sense of awe at the majesty and enormity of creation. Anyone who's gone to the desert says it's a trip of a lifetime with memories that can never be forgotten. We're here to make memories of our own. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you, did you know that in Farsi, loot means empty or void of everything? How can a place be this full and feel and appear to be so empty? This is Gulnar Farnoudi for Iran.